What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Word on a Wednesday. Uh, my name is Chase. Just want to share some encouragement from God's Word for you today. Uh, I was thinking about one verse to share with you from Psalms, and then when I went and looked at it, I remembered the whole psalm is good. So Psalm 23 says this. You probably heard it. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides quiet waters, and He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, or though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And this is the verse I really want to share. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And what an encouraging psalm, especially in this season that we are all in right now, where it says the Lord is our shepherd and we lack nothing. And I know right now many of us are lacking some things. <laughs> we're lacking connection with people. Uh, some of us, we're lacking hugs. He's like, man, I just want to hug somebody. You know, I need to do that. We're, we're lacking connection with family. You know, I know grandparents out there, like, this is so tough. Many of us, we're lacking financial help that we were used to. We're lacking jobs. I mean, this can be a really dark season. For some of you hearing that line of, as I walk through the darkest valley, maybe you feel like that's it right now. That this season that we're going through in isolation and this thing that we're all going through and, and dealing with, like it feels like the darkest valley. But what I love is how it starts and how it ends. The Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. That's how the Psalm starts. So he's your shepherd, you lack nothing. He, he cares for us, he, he refreshes our soul. He provides for us, He cares for us. I love that piece that He paints there. But I love the ending where it says, surely your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life. I've always loved that because it, it says that as we're walking through this life, as we're getting up and going about our day, as, as we're journeying along the difficult seasons, the valleys, and then the, the tough climbs up the mountain, or, or even the good times that it says His goodness and His mercy, His goodness and His love will follow us all the days of our life. So I want to just take a walk with you and help you understand that as you walk along this road in life, just take a look behind you. Slow down a little bit in this season and know that His goodness and His mercy, His goodness and His love is following you. God loves you. God has so much good for us in our life and, and His goodness and His love, it's following all the days of our life. And, and my hope and prayer is that you'd be encouraged by that today, that even though it feels like a dark valley, even though you think you're lacking something with Christ, with, with the Lord as your shepherd, we lack nothing. He provides and cares for us and we feel like we lack, but if we have Jesus, we have all that we need. And so I want you to lean on that today. Be reminded of His goodness and His mercy. They're right over your shoulders. Just just take a look. <laughs> oh, here they are. <laughs> they're, they're following after you. And I just find that an encouraging piece to be reminded that as I walk through this journey, as we walk through all this journey separately yet together, the Lord is our shepherd. We lack nothing. His goodness and his mercy are following us. They're chasing after us. They're, they're coming for us. So just keep, keep going along. Take a look over your shoulder every once in a while. Remember that he loves you. He wants what's best for you. He can work all of this together for are good even in the midst of this season. Uh, be encouraged by that today. Uh, rest in that today. Thank God for his goodness and his mercy that it's always chasing after you. Thanks for joining. See ya.